This agency has always been about helping the public. Hi everyone, I am Constable Alan Rosen and welcome to the first edition of the Rosen Report. Our new video series created to share important information and updates. The Harris County Precinct 1 Constable's Office is committed to keeping our residents and employees informed on a regular basis. Coming up, you can expect details on a new unified use of force policy, evictions assistance, and meet our new Director of Communications and a crime prevention tip. Our Unified Force Policy. In July 2021, I and all other Harris County Constables proactively hosted a 35-member Citizen Review Committee comprised of community leaders to review proposed changes to the policy that governs the Harris County Constables' use of force. I am proud to announce that effective January 15th, the Harris County Constables' Unified Use of Force Policy will be implemented here at Precinct 1. This new use of force policy brings more transparency and equity to the policing process by prioritizing de-escalation, requiring an officer to intervene when observing a fellow officer using use of force, excessive use of force, and adding requirements for annual use of force training. We will now require all deputies to carry at least one form of less lethal force, such as a taser, OC spray, or a baton. And chokeholds are defined as lethal force, strictly limiting their use to only those situations in which lethal force is justified. Moving forward, all Precinct 1 deputies will review this policy in roll calls, the integrity system, and over the upcoming weeks during an eight-hour comprehensive training course, taking a deeper dive into how the enhanced policy affects how they perform their duties. Deputies should take time to become completely familiar with the new policy and consult their supervisors regarding any questions. Precinct 1 remains committed to community policing that honors citizens' needs for their safety and the safety of our deputies and ultimately the preservation of life. Human Trafficking Awareness Month. January is Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Month. Traffickers use force, fraud, or coercion to lure their victims and force them into labor or commercial sexual exploitation. January 11th is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day, and my office will participate in the Blue Campaign's Wear Blue Day. Blue is the international color of human trafficking awareness, and all Texans are invited to wear blue on this day. Share pictures on social media with the hashtag WearBlueDay in recognition of this important day. If you suspect someone is a victim of sex or labor traffic, please report human trafficking by calling our hotline at 832-927-1650. Evictions Assistance Update. There is no denying the challenges the pandemic has caused a ripple effect with many residents facing job loss and in some cases becoming evicted from their homes. Here's an update on our partnership with the Precinct One Foundation and South Texas College of Law's Evictions Assistance Program. In 2021, we have provided assistance to more than 2,000 Harris County families. This ongoing effort continues to be a resource for many residents. For more information and assistance, please call 713 646-2990. Speaking of resources, we have brought on Angelique Myers as our new Communications Director. Thanks, Constable. Hello, I'm Angelique Myers, new Director of Communications, and I've been back at Preseq One for about three months now. And our office aims to improve accessibility to information through innovative strategy and multiple platforms, such as this Rosen Report video series. You can expect Rosen Report videos bi-weekly. My philosophy is centered on three valuable elements, collaboration, 
intention and building authentic relationships. The relationship between our public information office and our employees and residents must be strong, trusting and productive for what I believe is the most important purpose, our community. Our PIO team continues to serve the needs of citizens by being responsive to the media. We focus on proactive messaging rather than reactive. You should notice an increase of our social media presence and engagement through education, awareness campaigns, and partnerships. We are committed to collaboration with you and our media partners to keep the community safe. We approach our work with compassion, care, intention, and empathy. We are always open to any feedback you may have to enhance communications. Thanks for the warm welcome. Crime prevention tip, tail light theft. In Texas, we all love our trucks. Here's a few tips to avoid becoming a victim of tail light theft, a very expensive crime that takes only seconds to accomplish. It can cost a truck owner thousands of dollars to repair. First, Try to park your locked truck in your garage, inside a gated area of your property, or park with the tailgate close to a garage door or wall. Use a tail light security screw that can be purchased at your local hardware or auto parts store. Finally, tailgate locks are an affordable way to secure your vehicle. They are available aftermarket at local retailers and online. In closing, as we start a new year, I want to encourage everyone to focus on maintaining a positive mindset and reflect on how you can make a positive impact in someone else's life. Be grateful and appreciative for the, all the small things you have. I want to reiterate my gratitude for you and your continued support and dedication to the betterment of Precinct 1. Thanks for watching The Rosen Report. Stay safe, everyone.